land is perhaps the most important limited resource that humans have access to. We use it for all sorts of things, like building towns and cities, quarrying to extract resources from the ground, farming, and even dumping our waste. The problem, though, is that the more land that we use for ourselves, the less of it that will be left for other organisms. In addition, the process of converting land so that we can use it often has knock-on effects and damages the environment even more. So in today's video, we're going to explore these knock-on effects by looking at the consequences of converting forests and destroying peat bogs. The cutting down of forests is called deforestation and it's done all over the world for a host of different reasons. The main one is to clear land for farming, so that we can raise cattle, grow the food that cattle eat, or grow other crops like rice. Another reason is to grow crops that we can use to make biofuels, which are plant-based fuels that we can burn instead of using fossil fuels. The most obvious reason to clear forests though is to get the wood itself and we call this process logging. We can then use the wood to build things, or we can burn it as a fuel. Deforestation is of course an issue wherever it happens, but at the moment it's happening a lot in tropical regions where we have rainforests. And of all the problems it causes, there are three main ones to remember. One is that if we get rid of these trees, they will no longer be there to photosynthesize and so they won't be taking in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and locking it up inside their bodies anymore. This means that more carbon dioxide will be left in the atmosphere, where it can contribute to global warming. To make matters worse, one of the ways that forests are cleared is by burning them. And as they burn, they release all of the carbon that they were holding as carbon dioxide. This can cause huge plumes of smoke that can suffocate animals, and pollute entire towns. <laughs> and again, it contributes to global warming. The third problem is that regardless of how the forest is destroyed in the first place, the end result is that that habitat, which probably had really high biodiversity, with loads of different animals and plants living in it, has now been destroyed. This massively reduces the biodiversity in the area. And as more and more forest is being destroyed, entire species are becoming extinct. Another important habitat that's currently being destroyed is peat bogs. These are areas of land where the soil is both acidic and waterlogged, which means that the microorganisms that normally help to decay plants can't survive, in part because it's too acidic, but also because the water stops the air from getting into the soil so there's not enough oxygen for aerobic respiration. Instead, the partially rotted plants gradually build up and form a substance called peat. This means that the carbon which the plants took in during their lifetime gets stored in the peat instead of being released into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. So peat is actually really good and helps to reduce global warming. Unfortunately though, peat bogs are often drained so that they can be used as farmland to raise cattle or crops. And as the water is removed and the oxygen flows back into the soil, those microorganisms can come back as well, and they can start to decompose the dead plants, releasing all of that stored carbon as carbon dioxide. We also sometimes purposely remove the peat so that we can burn it as a fuel or use it as compost in our gardens. Either way though, it's going to result in the release of carbon dioxide. And this destruction of peat bogs is happening much more quickly than new ones can form. Just like with deforestation, destroying peat bogs also destroys the habitats of some of the organisms that live there, which reduces biodiversity and might lead to extinction of some species. And that's all for today. So I hope you found it useful. If you did, please do give us a like and subscribe, or tell your friends, and we'll see you next time.